Welcome back to We Happy Few. Last episode we made our way across this bridge. Not the bridge to the mainland, but this bridge that took us to Eel Pie Holm. And we made our way to the shelter over here. Unlocked another track access hatch. So now we have two. The original one that we can fast travel to and this one. And when we came down here we also found a bunch of recipes to craft things. So let's see what we can make now. By the way, I feel like it's appropriate to mention, because it feels like a very UK kind of thing, that I'm drinking Earl Grey right now. Earl Grey is a great tea. It's fantastic. I don't like it with food. It's kind of weird with food. I'd prefer something less kind of citrusy and perfumey. Something like an English breakfast, Irish breakfast, something like that. But on its own, man, Earl Grey is fantastic. Anyway, let's craft some things. <clears throat> I don't have... I, I can upgrade this. I don't have a chemistry upgrade kit, right? No. And I don't have one for the workbench, right? Oh, it's just in the same room. <laughs> okay, what can we do with a chemistry set? We can make the same things that we could make without a chemistry set. This is a new recipe we got. Proper shoes. Uh, are we wearing proper shoes already, though? We are. What's the point? What's the point of making more? Good shoes allow you to run a bit longer. I need three pieces of shredded raincoat. Okay, these are new. Caltrops and dart. And head knocker. Need basic mechanical crafting table. So these are just generic things that I can make anywhere, I think. And then things listed under workbench, I guess, mean I need a workbench. Right? Yeah. And I can actually make that. Duct tape, rocks, and a branch. Head knocker. It's just a rock taped to a branch. <laughs> Not much to it. So I can't actually make any chemistry specific things, then. Oh, that's a shame, because it looks so pretty. Can I actually rotate this? Isn't that just going to turn the lights off? No? That's the thing I pressed to turn the lights on. I guess when you reload the game, it allows you to use it for some reason, but all it does is try to turn the lights on again, which does nothing. Anyway, Caltrops, darts... I mean, I already have a bunch of darts, so making them is kind of meh. Mm, a rubbish weapon unless you coat it with something fun. Can be used to craft various drug darts. Yeah, I thought so. On their own, they're pretty much useless. But, I don't know, like a sleeping dart, poison dart. That could be useful. Caltrops. Hurts people's feet and slows them down. Causes minor damage and temporary reduced movement when stepped on. Head knocker. A branch with a rock taped to it. Way better than a branch without a rock. Inflicts low damage, heavy. I'd like something non-lethal. I wonder if I'm going to be able to craft non-lethal things. Maybe I should just do a lot of damage to people with something like a head knocker and then switch to fists. Would that be a good idea? I don't know, but let's craft this thing. It's not like I need to hold on to the branches, rocks, or duct tape that I have. They're not precious. And let's see how it compares to what I have right now. Which is what? These three things. Flimsy cricket bat, the head knocker, and the shovel. So, chance to stun, heavy. Inflicts low damage, heavy. Can strike multiple targets with one swing. Moderate damage, not very durable. Yeah, the shovel does a lot more damage. It also attacks against multiple foes and a chance to stun. I like the shovel. But the head knocker is way faster as a weapon than the shovel. Look at that. Shovel's almost as slow as it can be. Head knocker is almost as fast as the flimsy cricket bat. How is it like to use this thing? Like, how slow is it? 
Wow, that's the almost slowest attack speed. It's actually pretty fast. Try the head knocker. Doesn't feel that much faster, really. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with this. Okay, I guess we're done with down here. Let's go back topside. Search more around whatever this place's weird name is. Eel Pie Holm. Dear God, stop that. So we've already searched this whole house. Had to search it all to find the way in to the shelter place. Ruined house. I don't think I explored that ruined house. I mean, I pretty much haven't explored anything here, have I? I'm going to save the travel to the train station thing for later, of course. Let's explore. Check out these houses. Maybe one of these are the abandoned houses that Prue's helper might be in. Oh, I should have slept, shouldn't I? Hmm, yeah, my sleep status is pretty bad. Eh. I'll probably regret it. But eh. Oh, oh, I'm trespassing, and they started to notice me. Home is his castle. <gasps> Sorry. Okay. Man, I'm such a fast sprinter. I don't think they're going to chase me this far. I thought that was... Yeah, they're ruined houses, not abandoned houses. So there's people living in them. <laughs> Sorry. Wasn't trying to do a B and E. Minus the B. It'd be messed up if I hit them unconscious and stole their stuff, right? I mean, they're just an average person. And you're not gonna be mad at me now, are you? Nah, we're cool. It could be worse. I think. I better not catch you getting into my stuff. Yeah, all right. All right, do you have a front door? Can I knock? I just want to say hi. What am I supposed Hello. To I, I try not to talk about the kids. What we did to them. But sometimes I can't help it. I guess I'm just not going to go in there. Oh, Yeah, like, why would I just go in there and fuck with them? I have no reason to, it's wrong. What is this? What's this building here? Hot cuisine. Give me them sovereigns. Hmm, ten sovereigns. It's always drum. darkest now, before the dawn. We told you, fucking how meat and potatoes tasting food, you stupid bitch. My God, they've kidnapped some poor woman. I could be a real hero and rescue her, or get myself killed. Oh, that's what's going on in there. Get rid of the kidnappers. Zero out of four. Okay, hell yeah. I was gonna say, the sound design in this game is really fantastic. Even just picking up the phone and putting it down. That hanging up the phone sound, I love it. So there's four kidnappers in there? It's a pretty small place. Or are they in... Oh, they're probably in there, yeah. 
And that is trespassing. I should take out the spotter up there first if I can. Whoa. Just going up to the door is trespassing? Damn. Whoa, look at that. Let's see if I can parkour my way up. Eh. Eh. Whoa. Oh, sweet. Bottles. Go over there, go over there, don't look at me, don't look at me. Oh. Oh, that almost went south. Please just lie down. One feature that I wish this game had... Ooh, rusty shovel. It's gonna be very heavy, though. I wish I could pick up a body and then set it down in a chair like this. I know I can kind of throw them into it, but I wish there was like a literal action where you point at it and you can press a button to do it and you just very delicately, carefully place them in the chair. And it just looks like they're having a nap or something, so if somebody sees them, they're not like, oh, they're unconscious. They're just like, oh, yeah. Nigel Ferris is just having a nap. their stew. Partially eaten. Whoa. Kitchen key? I don't even see it. Where is it? Oh! I was looking up at the light. I got lucky. Oh, can I just let them out? Do I not have to? Help me! Help me! They want meat and potatoes. I can't make meat and potatoes out of fungus and leaves. It's just not possible. I'm not an alchemist. I could make a beautiful souffle if you gave me eggs and butter. But who's got eggs and butter? They want meat and potatoes. You have to go. They'll come back. They'll come back and they'll do terrible things to you. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Yeah, I think I have to get rid of all the people first. I can't seem to do anything. Oh, nope. There's someone down there. Wait, who is down there? Is that where I just was? I wish it was nighttime. Okay, concealed. How am I going to get one without the other seeing? Help, are you? Get out. Oh no, that's gonna hurt. Ooh. I should be fine. I don't even think they're coming out. Ah, oh, they're staying there. have the quest active anymore, by the way. Wasn't it active? There we go. Run away 
Maybe I'll throw a distraction into the stuff that I'm hiding in. Just a little bit to the side of me, then they won't see me. What the hell? This won't take a minute. I hope nobody's looking. I hope nobody's looking. Oh, somebody kind of saw. Leave my friend alone. Shit. You're here. I know you're here. How? Come on, I thought I had him. There we go. Jesus. It's not personal. Man, their neck looks real weird like this. I know the characters are stylized, but it looks real, real weird right now. Oh, I can't believe the other person didn't notice. Alright, well... The other one's going to be easy. It's better this way. Oh, they got a bunch of cans here, so if you hit it, they'll know. Oh, I've got a debuff because I haven't slept now. Oh, I need a multi-tool to disarm it. Well, how about that? Disarmed. What? Hmm? Why do they care about that? This isn't their place. Weird. Thank you! Come back any time! I'll make you something fantastic! My savior! Here, I've been cooking. Taste this. What you think? Yummy, isn't it? I ought to drop by someday when I'm in the neighborhood. Stew would be nice, even if it is made out of fungus and leaves. <laughs> Whoa, I just got three skill points! Chunky stew. That's fucked up sounding music. Let's eat this too. Sounds lovely. Hydrated and fed. Oh, because it's stew. Right. I don't know if that actually was the chunky stew. That actually wasn't. That was just normal stew. Let's just stop that horrid record. So everything's been fixed up. Yeah. Now this is just their place. They have a kitchen, and now they just own the place, huh? Although I wonder what they're going to do with the unconscious people. I don't have any reason to pick that, do I? I guess it makes it way more convenient to get in here. And maybe it'll give me more stew later. The body's just gone. No, <laughs> they're still here. So that's the restaurant, but there's also an abandoned house here. Let's go check it out. How's my weight looking? 64 to 106? That's not too bad. Even though I've picked up a couple shovels. could just sit in this chair in the rubble of a house.
You're in Paris? Sounds lovely. Oh yeah, right, I can spend a skill point. Wait, before I do that though, this is the abandoned house? The rubble? Yeah. I wonder if my parents would be proud of me. Or would they be terribly stern? <laughs> Alright, let's spend some skill points. What can I even get? Not that. Three, three, five. So I can get any of these combat things or these two stealth things. Body snatcher. Search and carry bodies faster. Drop bodies quietly. Hmm. The drop bodies especially sounds nice. Search and carry bodies 50% faster. Smooth talker. Talking to people makes them trust you more. Talking to NPCs reduces suspicion for twice as long. Hmm. Combat stuff. Unarmed hits to the head have a chance to stagger the enemy. 15% chance to stagger with unarmed melee hits. Less effective against bobbies. That's the cops. Wait for it. With a little preparation, you can give someone a real wallop. Hold attack for a charged, more powerful attack. That'd be good, too. Buff. Add 50% max health. Ooh, that sounds really good. That's a big increase. Another 50%. Another 50%. 50% less damage from basically everything, including bees. <laughs> So it's going to be either that, 50% health, or the body's one. Let's do 50% more health. Not an exciting skill, doesn't in terms of it doesn't allow me to do anything new, but that's a really good increase. So still trespassing if I come in, right? Yep. You gonna eat something nice from there? Yeah. Oh, it's moldy bread. That's what it is. Have you been sleeping all right? Stay away from the ones of the plague. It, it's a terrible way to die. Just nothing but houses everywhere. Most of them aren't marked on the map, though. Is that a bobby? No. No, wait. No, not a bobby, but they seem like they're... Water cronies. Honeybee nest. Hmm. Well, it's time to sneak off to the cinema. I wonder what's playing. Let's take them out. I don't want them preventing people from just being able to drink water. Christ. Ooh. Mind you, I don't think they'll try to hurt me right now because I'm not trespassing. You won't intimidate me with that. Your teammate. Shit. Put your weapon away if you don't want to get into a fight. I didn't think about that being considered a weapon. My bad. Will they be attracted to that noise, but since I'm not trespassing, I'm fine? What was that? 
Yes. Oh no, look away. What the fuck was that? It's not a very good hiding place. Yeah, that's all right. Sorry to bother. <laughs> Sorry to bother. Yeah, you'll wake up with a horrible back pain. This place has actual streets? This place didn't. Let's go off the beaten path. Let's just go off into the greenery. Love the little bits of fog. Destination right there? So close. And here we are. Not quite as grand as it used to be. Of course, there hasn't been a train since the germs left. The germs. Still, the tracks go from here all the way to the bridge and then across the river. And then all over Britain. I wonder if Prue made it this far. I wonder why Mr. Kite sent her to the Garden District at all. She could have just popped over the bridge from the station at Apple Hall. Ooh. Baddies in there. Well, I, I don't want to go there yet at all. There's so much to do. I need to sleep, though, and it's getting awfully hard to see anything. Yeah, I'm going to head back to our base, and I'm going to sleep. I'll be right back. Let's sleep for 12 hours until 9.38 a.m. the next day. Sweet dreams, Arthur. It's a nice, fresh morning water. And let's have that chunky stew, huh? Bet it's real good. You were well fed? I don't know, it didn't seem to do anything special. I put a bunch of stuff inside of the pneumatic stash, by the way. Something I want to check out about my base, the area around my base. I've already fully explored the inside, but I realized that there's something very odd over here. No, over here, there's a pond with a aircraft in it? Uncle Henry. When is Uncle Henry coming back? I don't know. But we surrendered. We did. Look, Dad won't talk about it. Maybe they drafted him. Can they do that? Who's going to stop them? I can't hear you. The Germans can do whatever they want until someone stops them. The Russians, for example. So why... So, so when is he, so when is he coming back? Oh, I don't know, Percy, I don't know. The Germans, they don't explain things. They just give orders. Why? Well, because, 
because I don't know why. I'm sort of worried that you might have volunteered. I don't understand. It's probably for the best. Let's check out this honeybee nest. Yeah, I don't think I want to have anything to do with that. No. How could that possibly end well? I, before I'm even willing to touch that, I need to have, I don't know, a smoker? Something? Anything to protect me. Let's see what else we can find around here. Forbidden. Back entrance to the train station? There's another honeybee nest. Well, still don't want to go to the train station yet. Is this trespassing? Wait, is this the restaurant? It is. Been here before. Let's set off into the countryside. Oh. Pleasant just to walk through all this beautiful stuff. Man, look at that tree. It's really cool looking. The German bomb. Extract requires the extractor. We can extract that later. This is so huge. Oh my god, look at this. Ooh, bit of a path. It's got to lead to something, right? I should do the train thing. You know, maybe there maybe I'll find quests for stuff out here. Like maybe something for that weird water pit. What was that? Probably a branch, huh? Yeah, it's just a branch. I'm not even gonna pick that up. They're heavy and worthless to me. I got a bunch. Let's head back to the train station. Well, What's this place? Well, this is going to be a bit tricky. 
Mine, mine, all mine. Enter the mind field. Or not mind. Mine field. Um. Squishy. Hmm. We all right? It's inside, right? Do not enter without an instructor unless you have made out your will. <laughs> okay. And trespassing, does it matter? I don't think... Oh, wait, there are people here. There's footsteps. Maybe I should just throw a rock or a bottle at it and blow it up safely. Oh, I need a multi-tool. Or I can just throw something at it, like they said. So I can get in that way. Well, it's just a bunch of assholes inside, right? Yeah, screw it. I'll throw a bottle and blow the thing up. Wait. There's more doors than I thought. I wasn't entering. We both know you're not going to leave your place. Pretty sure they heard that. It doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, they've lost me. <laughs> I've entered. Now I need to loot all three supply caches. So where exactly are the mines? Like, they seem to just be walking around, so... Am I afraid to walk around? Or am I, am I just going to randomly blow up? I don't know what's going to happen, really. Oh, God. Hi. Just relax. Don't question it. William Honeybun. What a great last name, Honeybun. Make a fuss. I'm really worried about suddenly exploding. Where's this supposed minefield? Oh, it's like on the inner place, I guess. A rock on a plate? Somebody eating rocks? this? This is a special place. Hmm? What the 
hell? Where did you come from and why didn't you hear me? I just saw somebody run over there. I thought they were going to open the door. They didn't. I think there's two people. Yeah, there's two people out there. It shows their backs being to me, though. You've got a bloody nerve coming in here. You're here. I know you're here. Shit, they have a shovel. Oh, that's not a good idea. Hey, that didn't hurt too much, actually. Oh. No! Ah! I meant it to go deeper in. What was that? Gonna wait till they turn around. You hear that? What the hell? Hey, I can just go in here. I don't come back. Yep. Not not coming back. Who's that? Put that down, you maniac. Oh. That's better. One less headache. Sorry. They react to weapons too, of course. Here we go. Dirty dick spot. Oh, so is this the whole island? No, I think that's a much bigger scale. I think. I don't know. This oh, holy shit. Is, is the map really this big? I've barely touched anything. But yeah, I don't really see this on the map. It'd be hard to tell. It's probably there, but just on a smaller scale or something. So where's the dig site? It's just outside. How do they not see me? How did they not see me? Who did that? That is a miracle oh, that this worked. Oh, look, it's not you, it's me. Did I hear someone else? Ooh, 
can't we just agree to disagree? I think that's it. I, th I think I'm free to wander around. Let's take some water. We're not bloody bed and breakfast, oh no. So get out. You can't have our biscuits. I don't want your biscuits. Okay, that didn't work. Sleep. No. Okay, maybe that's the last one. I've always liked you, actually. Did you? Did you really know George Crutchley? There's a lot of people here. I probably should have switched to the shovel. It's just if I don't carefully look at it, what their health is, then I could easily kill them. Hope I can find or make non-lethal weapons later. I mean, there was that padded bat or whatever we used in the fighting ring. Beautiful painting of vegetables. What do we have here, by the way? I think that's an onion. Pretty sure. Onion, carrots, some sort of squash, eggplant, potatoes. Is that like a cut beet or something? Maybe that's an onion or maybe that... No, that's garlic. Oh, that might be a beet up there, actually. And that's garlic. Where's the onion, then? I just feel like when you're showing like basic vegetables, there's always gotta be an onion, right? It's such a basic vegetable. It's like a staple. Where's the onion? <laughs> that too slow music really gives just a weird atmosphere to all this. Oh yeah, these are bunkers. Or no, not bunker. Um, trenches. So where are the mines? Maybe there just aren't any mines. I bet you there aren't. I bet you there were, but there aren't anymore. Maybe. I'll be careful, let me walk instead of sprinting everywhere. Oh, Jesus. Freddy Fox. Get you down from there, buddy. Oh, who's this? Chula hot tree. Nothing but a rotten carrot on them. I love climbing in this game. So anyway, where are those caches, huh? Ooh. I think I've been ignoring things that can actually be hold like this? Planks? I think I've seen them and just thought, oh, it's just something where I can't go there. Oh, so there's one. Another 
another dig spot. Oof. Antiseptic is now available in your journal. Three skill points? Nice. Wait, did I finish the quest? Is it because I looted, like, everything, so I basically already got all the caches, although it didn't register it or something? I'm not sure what happened there, but yeah, we finished the quest. Cool. So I guess we're done here? I find this place very confusing, but I think I visited everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I've been everywhere in here. Okay. Yeah, there's no mines there. Just trying to scare you. Or maybe there were mines. Dick spot, dick spot, dick spot. Three dick spots. Nice. Okay, well. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode as I run away from that broadcast. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, well, we're going to explore some more of Eel Pie Home. <laughs>